Welcome to a special edition of Be Less Stupid. I'm going to try a little something. Every night, until this coronavirus thing is under control and we can get back to our regular lives, I'll be right here with a new video, a five minute recap of the most important coronavirus news of the day. That's right, a new video will be here on YouTube every night at around 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 o'clock on the East Coast. All right, let's get right to it. Earlier today, President Trump announced new guidelines recommending that all Americans avoid groups of 10 or more. He also suggests that you don't eat or drink in bars and restaurants, not to travel unless it's absolutely unavoidable. He's also recommending that all schools close. These guidelines are expected to be in place at a minimum of 15 days. And to indicate 15, Trump did this with his hands. Trump also said that if Americans pull together the virus to one another, it could be July or August before the pandemic threat is significantly reduced. And to indicate July, he added, quote, it's that month that comes after November. Anthony Fauci, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease said, quote, the worst is yet ahead for us. It's unclear if he was talking about the pandemic itself or the president's response to it. Asked by a reporter earlier today to rate his performance in response to the coronavirus, Trump said, quote, ah, I give myself about a six. I'm kidding. What'd you expect? He gave himself a 10. According to the New York Times, the number of people infected with the coronavirus has now reached 4,118, while 78 people have passed away. This chart shows the number of new cases each day during the month of March. New York is the state with the highest number of coronavirus patients, followed by Washington State. Alaska and North Dakota have the fewest known cases. Nearly 7 million people living in Northern California, including Silicon Valley, are being ordered to shelter in place starting at midnight tonight. Health services, grocery stores, gas stations, banks, and food delivery services will remain open. Mass transit will stay open, but it is only to be used to travel to and from essential services. The Louisiana governor has announced that all bars, restaurants, clubs, and casinos will be closed in his state, and that includes Bourbon Street in New Orleans. The governor added that, quote, college students on spring break will now be encouraged to do jello shots and throw up at their own goddamn houses. Amazon says that it will be hiring 100,000 new full and part-time workers in the U.S. in order to meet the surge in online orders. 65% of people will be hired to fulfill your orders in the warehouse, 20% will be uh, hired as delivery drivers, and 15% will be hired to drop and kick your package. All Pennsylvania state liquor stores will close indefinitely beginning tomorrow at 9 o'clock. In celebrity coronavirus news, Tom Hanks and his wife, Rita Wilson, have been released from an Australia hospital. However, they continue to remain in self-quarantine in a rented home in Australia. Also, actor Idris Elba revealed on social media today that he has been diagnosed with the disease. The popular nationwide indoor bicycling gym, SoulCycle, announced that it's closing its gyms nationwide. The spokesman added that uh, creepy guys who only take to class to stare at girls' asses will have to get their thrills the old-fashioned way by flipping through the spring Lululemon catalog. And finally, it was an ugly day for U.S. stocks. The Dow recorded its worst one-day point drop in American history and its worst performance on a percentage basis since Black Monday back in 1987. Anyway, I thought it'd be good to end on a positive note. Before I go, a very quick reminder. Remember to wash your hands. Keep six or 10 feet from one another. Cough into your elbow. <clears throat> if you think you're sick, stay home. If you can get one, wear a face mask. And remember to clean and disinfect frequently touch surfaces in your home. For Be Less Stupid, I'm the host, John Hotchkiss, and I'll see you tomorrow night. Stay safe, people.